It was nearly one year ago that Dr. Bill Kelso and his archaeologists with Preservation Virginia uncovered the footprint of the original 1608 church at Jamestown. And now researchers believe they have a new find that could shed light on the church's history. WI Daily spoke with archaeologist Danny Schmidt about this discovery and what could turn out to be the well that supplied water to that original church. Okay, so behind me we have now uncovered, after 12 months of excavation, the complete limits or dimensions to the first substantial church built here at Jamestown in the spring of 1608. This is one of the earliest Protestant churches in the New World. This is a site in all likelihood of the marriage between Pocahontas and John Rolfe. That took place in April of 1614. We also have one very curious archaeological feature in the southwestern corner of the church. It's almost certainly a well and at that a, a barrel lined or wooden cask lined well. We have yet to excavate into this well. It's very possible it has nothing to do with the church. It might just be a later well from the 1630s or 40s long after this church is gone and just by coincidence happened to be located there. We want to we see if maybe this has something to do with the, uh, the church. It could be because we do know that it is a tradition to have the bat baptismal fonts in the southwest corner of churches, and of course you need water for the baptismal font. Um, perhaps that's the source. I think there is some precedent for uh, several churches in England that do have wells in the southwest corner. So when you dig a well, you for the most part are digging through the trash that they backfilled the well with. When, when one abandons a well, typically shortly thereafter it's filled in with rubbish. So we'll be going through layers where we'll, we will find artifacts. But our hope is that when we get down to the bottom where the water is, we may find some object that fell into the well while the well was in use. We've also got to keep in mind that from here came the, the subsequent churches on Jamestown Island were built just over my shoulder, roughly I believe about 50 feet away from, from this location. And then we have churches going throughout James City County. We have the church in Williamsburg, Bruton Parish Church. So really this is the beginning uh, in many respects of Protestantism in the New World and North America. I know we have thousands of Protestant churches that can trace their roots back to what we've found here behind me uh, this past year. So this is hugely significant to uh, American history.